Hello everyone and welcome to another Halu Caesar review. Very excited to be back in this again. Apologize for the delay in these videos, but we are going to start pumping these out. Um, so this came out a little while ago, Marvel Flux card game. So those who are familiar with Flux, this is Flux with all those awesome Marvel characters and uh, is a great time. If you're not familiar with Flux, go ahead and check it out. Uh, there's all sorts of different versions, but the idea is this game changes, uh, hence the name throughout the game, uh, your goal, how you win the game, and your cards and the rules associated with how you play the game. Uh, it is a very, very uh, fun game, and this is the Marvel version of it. So, um, I really, really did enjoy this version. Uh, there isn't... Uh, you know, any groundbreaking new mechanics in the game necessarily. But I wanna show you some of my favorite cards uh, from the deck and show you kind of what comes in this one. Uh, this is a special one. I think there's some different versions. Uh, so this version itself also comes with this uh, special uh, poker chip token. Uh, and you can utilize it uh, to keep track of whose turn it is. Uh, there is also a new rule card in here uh, that you can actually play and uh, if you forgot, if you forget uh, to move it to the next player, you must discard a card uh, chosen randomly from your hand. Um, so it kind of uh, incorporates, it forces you to use this. Um, but a pretty cool uh, and very nice quality uh, poker chip, actually. Um, very cool uh, little addition to that. So, of course, the game comes with uh, some rules and a bunch of cards. Okay, so in Flux, you start with the basics and uh, you're trying to get to a certain goal, a uh, certain uh, combination of keeper cards, uh, which are made up of mostly the uh, heroes here. Uh, they did throw Thanos into the mix. And I guess, uh, you know, as I'm talking about it, the, the only thing that I would have wished for uh, more in this version is maybe uh, the inclusion of Creepers, uh, which are cards usually that you have in front of you um, in some flex games where uh, you can't win, basically, if you have those Creepers uh, cards in front of you. I wish... Um, I think they could have done something really cool uh, with the villains of the Marvel Universe um, as creeper cards and played around with that some more. Um, so I I, I, I kind of wish that they had that, but otherwise um, the cards that come in this uh, for you know the the Marvel superheroes, uh, awesome. They have a huge amount of of the superheroes in here. Uh, and very cool combinations. So, of course, we have the Wakanda Forever uh, uh, goal card uh, with Black Panther and Shuri. Uh, and we have Best Friends, Captain America, Bucky Barnes. There's the Infinity War with Thanos and the uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, we have other goals over here. Women of Power, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Guardians of the Galaxy, Meaning Green. So very, very, you know, kind of thematic or, you know, the... Very cool uh, combinations. It just makes sense uh, what they chose to do here with the gold cards. Uh, the artwork and everything uh, for the superheroes, I think, turned out really, really well as, uh, as well. Um, I want to point out uh, some of the my favorite action cards and keeper cards of this uh, Marvel Flux. Uh, so this one, uh, obviously... You know, spoiler alert here um, from the movies, the Thanos snap, uh, where you get to gather all the keepers and then you shuffle them randomly and you remove half of them and then you deal out the remainders evenly. Uh, really, really thematic and really cool uh, action card. Uh, probably my favorite one in this deck, actually. I just think it's really, like, it's, I know it's, it's something fairly simple, right? But very, very well uh, done. I'm glad they included that in the mix. Uh, this action is the arena. This is the other action card that is really cool uh, that makes this uh, game fun to play, I think, uh, is 
So basically, you have this idea of, okay, we're going to choose one of our keepers, one of these superheroes, uh, to go into the arena. And then there's a debate on, okay, who's going to win and why and that sort of thing. Uh, and so I really, really enjoy that. Um, that makes it fun as well. And then some of the keeper cards uh, have some special abilities and such. Uh, and now I can't remember uh, exactly because I've played with this and shuffled them all together. Um, this specialty edition had seven bonus cards. So I'm not exactly sure, honestly, which is which. But if you get this version, you will get all of these cards. Um, but anyway, so some of these keepers have some abilities, which I think are, are cool. I like when they do that with these keeper cards. So it's not just a card that you place in front of you but it has some other extra thing going on. So Doctor Strange, once during your turn, you may take a random card from another player's hand and play it. Uh, we have Keeper Groot here. And uh, while you have this in play, you can only say, I am Groot. And if you fail, uh, you must move this to another player of your choice. So, you know, if you're socializing and you're having that type of game, you have someone who uh, likes to talk and they just can't bear it, well then Groot is not going to be uh, one that they're going to be able to keep. They're going to have to pass that to someone else. And uh, lastly here, the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, so it is a keeper card as well. Once during your turn, you may take the top card from the draw pile and play it immediately. So it could be a little bit risky to your cause, but uh, also pretty powerful to be able to play uh, a card each turn that way so um and that is marvel flux the card game i will quickly just kind of span these out here uh as i'm closing remarks but uh fantastic fantastic game uh if you enjoy flux uh if you're looking for uh a you know you know how did this marvel version turn out uh, I think I think most of you will be uh, very pleased uh, with how it turned out. Um, again, my only comment, you know, if if you're getting it, hoping to see, you know, the villains of Marvel, um, that that is just not going to be. Uh, you're going to be a little disappointed when you when you open it up and and start playing with it. Um, but other than that, um, you know, it is. If, if you're really into the, the uh, heroes of Marvel and everything um, and enjoy Flux, I think you'll really enjoy this version, honestly. Uh, if you haven't played Flux before uh, but are really into superheroes and have found this video, uh, it, is, it is a great little card game uh, where it's, it's just fun to play. Um, and, you know, the other thing with all the Flux games that I let everyone know about is, you know, the games can be really short. Uh, because it's very random on, you know, I'm going to play this goal card hoping to obtain another one of these. And before it gets back around, someone's changed it uh, to something else. And so the other thing with the Flux games is it can it can take a little while. It can go from, you know, the 15 minute round that you've played before into, uh, you know, an hour long, 45 minute long uh, ordeal. Uh, but it is really actually a, a solid game. Obviously, they, we've got tons and tons of different versions as well. But the uh, Marvel version, I think, does not disappoint. Uh, and we'll close out here uh, with Loki as a keeper as well. Uh, during your turn, you may exchange this with any other keeper in play, playing on his kind of illusion magic and everything. So really, really quite powerful um and fun to play with so that is marvel flux and that is how lou sees it